your favorite dunk or mm. few because i guess they're all your your child i guess <laughs> favorite one or two dunks that you've put down and then the mm. most cringy dunk so so just how like you think back on your like middle school high school self and you cringe at like the dumb stuff you said like you look back on that dunk you're just like oh i can't believe i did that in competition yeah yeah those are good those are cool questions um let's start with let's i like to go cr let's get cringe out of the way first okay for so sure, for sure um <laughs> and this is also uh in russia okay so <laughs> we got there the jet lag was really bad um i also was battling with what i found out later was bronchitis i didn't realize oh that i was sick I knew I felt like my energy was low, but I had the adrenaline. So oh, yeah. it was like it was combating, <laughs> you know, I was awake enough and we were warming up before the competition outside the stadium. They had a bunch of courts. I mean, they had hundreds of courts set up outside as well for people to be able to play three on three, but we had a whole court for dunk warmups and we're jumping and getting warm, get my legs fresh, trying to get my head wrapped around the fact that I'm in Russia uh, yesterday. I was at home and now I'm about to dunk in front of, you know, 5,000 people in oh, a stadium. Gosh, yeah. So we walk, we get walked in and I mean, the, there's a jumbotron, it's got your picture and a video playing and your name and they announce you and people, you know, a handful of people will know who I am from the internet. And so it's, <laughs> it's, it's a stage in terms of the level of competition that I had not yet been on at that point. So it was a bit overwhelming. Um, what was also, the biggest crowd before that? Uh, probably 2000 um, would have been in Montreal for uh, called Urban Jam. And it was a big competition, but this was different. Like it was... I'll say, I can send you some pictures after so you can Sweet. see your video if you want to like uh, snipe it in so people can see what's going on. But yeah, it was definitely a different feeling. I mean, there's crane cameras swooping down as you're coming oh, in. Legit, down. yeah. It's super legit and, and very intimidating if you're not used to it. And for me, I'm very transparent with my audience about the fact that I, um, I, I manage and deal with like very high anxiety and I have bit for, for most of my life. And as an, an anxious athlete, I had to come up with a lot of strategies to be able to manage high level competition. So unfortunately at that moment, the, we'll call it performance anxiety kicked in. And if you know anything about performance anxiety and explosive reactive movement is that obviously the higher uh, cortisol levels we have obviously affects the neuromusculature of our body to the point where the muscles don't communicate and the nervous system doesn't communicate at the same speed. So you get essentially these dead wobbly legs even though I felt generally warmed up and I was jumping outside, as soon as I got ultra nervous and anxious, <laughs> they're like, okay, you can warm up now on the court in front of all the people. And I was like the third person to go up for my first dunk. And I throw a lob, which is like a bounce. And then you catch it and dunk it. And I was just going to do a casual jump, one-handed dunk. I do it all the time. It would have been nice and impressive. My head would have been up near the rim and whatever. I throw this lob. I go and approach. I plant to jump and it's like from the hips down, I turn into a baby giraffe. My legs like just completely crumbled. I didn't go off the ground. I grabbed the ball. I played it off because I'm also a goof and barely good at working a crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do a layup and everybody uh, layups. laughs. Everybody this laughs. International, this right? international I dunk competition. Just like finger roll. Yeah. And I just kind of did a goofy little, little, little layup and I walked back and my, one of my buddies who's a dunker as well, I looked at him and I went, oh, <laughs> just like... I like, I didn't know it was, so I had to like breathe and calm down, but I look back still. And, uh, that's something that sticks out to me as like cringe, the first big stage, my first jump in front of a huge crowd, my legs buckled and I did not even get off the ground. <laughs> so if we have like, if we have like Steph Curry, when he tried to dunk in game and he kind of just slipped, mm -hmm. like, where does that, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's like 17 light years beyond Steph Curry. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like it's uh, I think him slipping to go up for a dunk might have been a bit more embarrassing, unfortunately, because of the level of athlete he is. Uh, but for me, it was like it was more of a of this shock. I don't think anybody else really ingested it the same way as I did, because it kind of looked purposeful. But I knew that I yeah. actually wanted to dunk it and I couldn't. So that, yeah, it left a little bit of a, a, of a sour taste. And, and I was pretty nervous for my first dunk of the competition. Thankfully, it went in. I ended up placing like sixth out of 12. It wasn't great, but it, was, but it was a fun experience. And for being sick and, and pretty yeah. um, overwhelmed by things, I was very happy with even just the experience. So, so that, that was, was your flu game. game. That was my flu game. Yeah, that was my MJ moment. Yeah. Um, however, I didn't win. Uh, so it was like, 
it was my, it, it was like MJ had the flu, but I was the guy on the bench. Uh, gotcha. like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I felt about it. <laughs> what, uh, what were your favorite dunking shoes? Mm, uh, my favorite ones of all time were the Kobe sixes. Kobe sixes. Um, yeah, Kobe sixes. I went through probably six or seven pairs of those because of how much force I jump with and the speed I jump with, I would peel the, the sole of the shoe would like roll back all the time oh my on the, on my plant foot. And so I went through a lot of those Kobe nines were really good. I was pretty much a, a diehard Kobe mm -hmm. low cut basketball shoe where they were best for the type of jumper that I was for sure. So for does sure. the, the travel slash vert inches, was that part of that story or a different one? The, um, oh, you're talking about like the, our, our bookmark. Yeah. Yeah, that, so that's kind of the story we just went over, which was really like, how does the travel and the jet lag affect you? In that moment, it affected me terribly. Normally, when I would go do like a, a short travel event, whether it was like a little domestic flight or into the US, I was pretty good. I, I'd done so many of those. It was, it was the pageantry of the event combined with the sickness, combined with the travel that really caused that to be an issue. But normally... The travel events went pretty well. I was used to uh, managing the stress and stuff that came along with it and, and being able to get there and show out. So this was just a unique situation for sure, uh, being in another part of the world. Yeah. And your favorite dunk. <clears throat> yeah, this is, I like this one. I was thinking about this this morning. I'm like, I have so many dunks that I've done that I've really loved, but I'm thinking of moments. So I did a, I did a contest in Toronto at a mall and uh, they, so, you know, the, like a three tiered mall, like three levels. Yeah. Open in the have, middle. They had that open in the middle center where they have everything that kind of mm. looks around. Anyway, they set up a court in this kind of open area and it was packed. So the, the, the bottom level was full of crowd. The first, second and third level, there was people all the way around mm. looking down, but this court was exceptionally small. It mm. was only to the three point line, a high school three point line was as far away as you could get. And the sidelines, it wasn't a full three on the sidelines. It was a very compact, small court. So kind of like your... Kind of like what my home one is right now, yeah. to be perfectly honest. But not to mention that right at the back of the court is where the judges were sitting. So like uh, Mor um, uh, Morris Peter, so Mo Pete from the Toronto Raptors was there. Like a couple Raptors were judges. There was like the director of the event was another judge. The Raptors mascot was there. And they're all kind of right at the back of the court. So where the type of jumper I am, I, the, I need a little bit of an approach. I like to get some speed worked up because it just helps me convert and I jump way higher with an approach outside the three-point line. This wasn't the case. You got about two or two and a half steps at your most to get off the ground. And the, and the rim was like a legit 10 foot rim. Some contests you'd luck out and they'd, the rim would be like nine, 10 and you could, it would be a nice flashy contest because everybody got a little bit higher. And they usually made that for the dunkers, but this was a legit 10 foot rim. There was, you know, a thousand people kind of looking down and a tiny court. And my friend, Justin, who at the time was one of the best dunkers in the world. I'm talking, this guy had like a 50 plus inch vertical jump and he could jump off of like standing still and, and beat a lot of people. So he went before me, he did this big kind of between the legs dunk as his opener dunk and the crowd blew up and I was like, oh crap. So I just kind of said, you know what? Let's just get her done. I, I threw the ball off the glass, took two hard steps, jumped. Like I pitched the ball off the glass as if I was trying to throw it through the backboard. It was so hard. It came off like a rocket. I caught it, rode it way back. My whole body was leaning like a Steve Francis 2000 dunk contest where he kind of brought the leg back, brought the arm back. And I punched this dunk harder than I punched a dunk in my entire life to that point. The whole place exploded. I turned around, Mo Pete had jumped out of a seat. He was like, it was so, Justin looked at me like, bro, like what was that? <clears throat> and it was just a good combination of power, jump height and energy. And that stands out to me as like one of my favorite moments just because of how electric the environment got. It wasn't my most complex dunk by any means, but it was really, really cool. Mm.